It's uh, interesting when um, I look at the subject, the topic of the God who listens, because um, I hadn't really thought about it before or very much, because very often we look at the God who speaks and we know that God speaks to us in so many different ways. But when I was reflecting on the God who listens and the God who hears me, um, I keep being taken back to a story about Mother Teresa and uh, she was in an interview and being asked, you know, what do you do in prayer? And she said, I listen. And then she was asked by the interviewer, oh, okay, so what does God say? Or what does God do? He listens. And it was in that silence that she could hear God listening to her. And uh, I just thought, that's amazing that God listens to us and we're not always aware that he does that. And yet he's always there and he's always listening to everything we say everything we do, everything that we are. You know, when you love someone, you really want to listen to everything they're saying because you're learning about that person. You want to know everything and you want to really be able to respond in kind in what they're saying. And um, that's how I want to see how I see God, that God, because he loves us so much, because he loves us so much, he's always listening. Now, there's a difference with hearing because here we hear a lot of things. We hear a lot of things. We're walking, wherever we're going, there's always noise around. But God is not somebody who just hears and doesn't take anything, but he goes beyond hearing. He listens because he loves us. And that's the difference. Um, it's the relationship of love. So in my own time, in my own spaces of prayer, um, how do I see or how do I understand God is listening to me? I think it's going back to relationship. Um, you don't need to talk, you don't have to say anything. It's the quality time. It's the, the space that you have with one another. And so in my times of prayer, when I'm quiet, or when, when I'm quiet and when I'm listening, it's that quality time, um, just looking at God and Him looking at me. How do I know He's listening? Because I know He loves me. I know He loves me. And because He loves me, is listening. Sometimes I ramble on, sometimes I moan a lot, um, and sometimes I just tell him how much I love him. But whatever stage I am in that space, um, it's just the, the gazing. I'm gazing at him and he's gazing at me. And I think everything happens in that space. I always get very excited um, at that time between Ascension and Pentecost and the waiting of the Holy Spirit. But I get excited because it's very personal for me. Um, when I came back to, to my faith, really, when I really came back to my faith, um, it was at a time, you know, we were running um, seminars on living life in the power of the Holy Spirit. And I had no idea. So I was really learning my faith anew, although I had been brought up um, in the Catholic faith. Um, and then we got to that time between, between Ascension and Pentecost, when the whole church is being invited to pray for the Holy Spirit. I had no idea what that meant, but I knew I wanted more. And I was looking at people around me and I was being inspired by how alive that seemed in their faith. And I was praying, God, I want what these people have. And if it meant prayer come Holy Spirit, I thought, well, okay, I don't know exactly what that means, but I want what these people have. You know, I want a faith that is alive. I want to, to look at, at God, not just as God in the sky, but really a God who's walking with us, a God that we know intimately. And so I was praying, come Holy Spirit, come Holy Spirit, and everything changed. Um, so this is always a very exciting time and saying to people, please don't miss the opportunity. You know, pray, come Holy Spirit. And like me, you might not know exactly what it means or how your life will un unfold from that. But it's that openness to praying, come Holy Spirit, come Holy Spirit, and pray that for your families, pray that for your friends, pray that for your postmen, that the Holy Spirit will come and just transform, just transform and um, yeah, create new life. So very exciting time. <laughs>